Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome if you are new. So today I have a unboxing to do from Betsy and they sent me the cat eye gel polish and it also came with like the little display stand which I thought was very cool and they also sent me their solid pudding gel I think it was called, I'm not too sure. But this is the flowery gel polish set and this is basically a cat eye and I was very surprised to see these little swatch, um, little swatches, which I thought were very, you know, very different. And you can also like put the color up on the top with like a separate brush. But I'm just going to quickly show you one of the colors and like what it looks like. And it also came with this little display, which I'm not going to use in this video. But um, I just want to show you guys that the, that it is there and at this point I thought that the little squares go on the little stand but you'll see later that it doesn't and you basically have to use the nail tips that come with this set which I'll show you later and that's basically what you would use. So this is the solid nail gel and this is like the thick little gel that you use to apply nail tips on. I tried a little finger and it kind of worked. I don't want to show you guys too much because this is going to be kind of like for the next video or something like that. So that's what I got. I also got 100 grit files and a poly gel set from the brand Lofuana and they sent me three of their poly gels and I really like how they sent me this in like a little bag because it makes it nice and portable to bring with you especially with all the different poly gels I feel like it's nice to have them all in one space so I'm just quickly showing you one of the shades and I was really happy to see that they sent me these files because I was running low on my own so we're just gonna do some swatches of all the shades and the nice thing about this set is that you can kind of name the shades yourself so you can like arrange them in rainbow order and name the first shade shade one and then the last shade will be shade six so that way you can kind of know what each number is like what shade each number is and i thought that was kind of cool and a nice way to organize your gel polishes and yeah we're just gonna swatch them some of them were kind of sheer as you can see this blue one was a little bit sheer but when i use it in the design it's like that doesn't show up it looks like nice and opaque so i'm not sure why that happened but yeah these shades are absolutely lovely to work with i'm not going to show you the cat eye effect just yet because i want to show you guys um, in the design but yeah the consistency of these felt amazing not too thick and not too thin and i always look for a consistency where i could use these to like draw some nail art so if it's too thick it usually is harder to draw like your lines and your nail art but if it's too thin it's usually not pigmented enough or it's not um, gonna stay where you put it so i like to look for a balance in between and i thought it would also be fun to do the swatches together so i'm gonna basically pop the little squares on like a little stand and paint the colors on and i thought this was such a cool way to kind of customize your little bottles um you can also like change up like how you do the swatch so you can have it on top or you can have the square on top it doesn't have to be in the front of the bottle but i just put it there because you know i kind of wanted to use it as they suggest to use it but you can definitely put it any way you want i was thinking of putting it on top but then i thought it would be better to have it use like a separate brush to paint that part because i'm worried the square might pop off but i will i will be testing that out and seeing if the swatches fall off but so far they look pretty strong and the little glue piece that they sent was like a really nice thick little tab like it felt really strong for some reason so yeah it's really nice to see like this brand come out with like this little way of swatching their little gel polishes so this is what they look like very aesthetically pleasing in my opinion and here i'm just saying like you use the nail tips to put on the little like display stand and not the squares i guess i realize at that point and here is quickly um a little cat eye swatch as you can see so moving on to the poly gel the fawana sent me three poly gels two nudes and a clear and i'm using the pink poly gel today so 
you guys seem to really enjoy my lazy girl method and I had a lot of fun creating that nail set so I thought I would do it again in this video and instead of just poly gel I thought it would be very nice to incorporate the gel polishes as well so before I pop on these tips or kind of start doing my design I guess I like to kind of custom fit them to my nails so my nails are quite small and my cuticles are quite rounded although these tips are quite round I like to get it a little bit more round with the um, hand file that I received today so that way it can be like a perfect fit and another great tip is to file like the top where the cuticle area is because that will make it look very nice and flush when you put it on your nail and this is like a really good tip because this like it really does look like a kind of like a nail tip rather than a full cover press on nail if that makes sense so I would strongly recommend that you guys do this before popping on your full cover nail tips and also don't forget to file like the free edge because it comes with like the little tab but yeah this file so far was great I sometimes receive files from companies where it looks like they have a lot of grit on them and I'm really happy about that but when I go to use it the grit kind of just falls off and it doesn't actually file anything I don't know those files are so weird I think those are a bit more like cheaply made I've not reviewed any of them on my channel because I don't recommend you guys use them so I wouldn't review that but yeah just know that these files were really good and I'm really happy they sent me a huge pack of these so now I'm going in with my peel off base this is the UNT or the aunt global peel off base coat and I like to apply this to my nails in a very thin layer and I kind of like to go on the skin a little bit on the sides just because it helps me pop off the press on nails or the full cover nails I mean um, really well so for this design I had like a little marble des like design that I wanted to do so I was sitting there and thinking I should do like a combination of different marble colors and this is what I came up with I feel like it's better to do a marble in two colors rather than three I feel like the, the three color method kind of like the colors were like really merged together and I feel like for some of them they got really like it didn't really look like a marble but I'm not mad at that because the end result was still great um, but yeah if you're gonna do a marble um, maybe just use like two colors rather than three like the thumb I used two colors and I was really happy with it and I also went in with my dotting tool to further marbleize them um, this was this doesn't have to be a marble because I feel like I was so happy with the colors just kind of being blended a little bit together so I wasn't too fast about marbling these and Unfortunately, the gel polish kit does not come with like a um, a magnetic stick, so you're gonna have to use a magnet. But I'm sure most people have magnets at home; like they're very easy to get and cheap to buy. So make sure you use your magnet to get the cat eye effect. And I was really happy with like how the combination of colors like looked with the cat eye effect. I thought it was just really cute and very different and i also paired it with the pink poly gel which was perfect by the way it reminds me a lot of the mccart um le, le coral i think um poly gel it's like a nice soft pink and i might i'm looking to buy that poly gel because it's like i don't want to keep using the same a siesta poly gel although it's so beautiful i feel like a lot of people will start to get bored of it soon so i'm gonna try and see if i can get my hands on that poly gel soon enough for the next video but for now i'm just basically marbling the colors if you want you could also just like pop the gel polish straight into the full cover nail tip rather than like marbling them on the nail plate and then going into the full cover nail tip i feel like that could also work but um I use this method today because it's one I'm most familiar with and I did do a video on my channel where it was like full ways to ombre and that video is like very helpful to most people so if you guys want to actually look at videos on how to ombre and I did one for how to marble you can go and check that out I will link it down below 
and those are gel polish only so if you're struggling to like marble or ombre with gel polish then do check those out and i hope they help so the good thing about this method is that you can just pop the nails on when you're ready and i like to like really push it down and make sure it's on there really nice and sturdy because when you go to cure it you don't want it to kind of like move and lift off your nail so just make sure that it's on there really well and that's also why it's so important that you get a size up if a, if a nail doesn't fit your um your nail your natural nail so that's why you always want to go size up because it could always move or like lift a little bit and then you go to cure like that it's just a bit annoying because then you can't fix it so just make sure that you go size up with these full cover nail tips when you apply them or size them up and as for this poly gel it was a good poly gel like it was a little bit on the harder side for sure but it the color was beautiful first of all i love this color it's like my favorite kind of pinky nude um, but at times I feel like it was just a bit too hard to work with. It's like the more I start, I was working with it, the harder it got in a way. I don't know if that was just me, but it was a little tricky to work with, but I would probably still use it. Like I'd still keep this in my collection and use it. And as I was like doing the nails, I found like a better technique to apply and do like a better kind of marble nail. So. I applied the bulk of the product and then I kind of flipped my br my brush around so I'll show you in like the last finger what I mean and it gave off like a really nice ombre like that and I'm flipping my brush and then kind of going flat and scraping off all the product from the brush so I feel like that gave me the best marble effect as you'll see the pinky was definitely my favorite and the ring I love the color combo on the ring finger it was so beautiful and then going in with that pink poly gel and just dragging it down today my application was really good because i had no um poly gel like that needed smoothing on the underside except for one finger so i was really happy i feel like i'm definitely getting the hang of this method a lot more and it's such a nice and relaxing method to do i know there's a couple people on youtube who'd use this method and they do an absolutely amazing job with all the sets they do so if you are looking to learn more about this method i'm probably not the best person to come to but there are definitely channels more dedicated to this um, technique and yeah it's just a great technique to use especially for beginners and if i didn't mention it already this is the femi beauty slash lazy girl method so um i do want to credit her for this and it's such a great method that she is like <laughs> invented because i feel like so many people use it now and people just can create so many cool nail sets and feel more confident about doing their nails with this method so i really like that and i'm just applying some top coat to the underneath of my nails because i don't want to like have to um wipe away the sticky layer i think it's just easier to apply the base coat at this point and also it kind of smooths it out so once I'm happy with that, I'm still removing like the tacky layer because there's like some stickiness that I might have missed around the nail. So always go in and remove that. And once I'm happy, I'm going in with the Madame Glam top coat. Betsy has an amazing top coat. I just couldn't find it. It's from like one of their poly gel kits that I've done a review on, which I will link below. But yeah, it's the Madame Glam top coat. The no wipe top coat is so good. And the consistency of it is so nice and thick that I love it so, so much. It's like one of my top top coats. And I do have a discount code with Betsy. It's Camin1060 for 20% off I believe and Betsy has amazing products on their websites like it reminds me a lot of like Shein I guess their website where they have like a variety of like random but cool nail products that you might not find anywhere else um so yeah just definitely check them out they definitely have like affordable and more like luxury items as well which i think are very nice and they offer a good range of products like their range is amazing and yeah definitely check them out i love this brand a lot and i have worked with them before so now to finish off the nails i feel like these nails needed a little something more 
and I feel like these pearls just fit that perfectly. I don't know where I got these pearls from, but I will try my hardest to find you guys like very similar, if not the exact same pearls, because these were so amazing. Like I love these pearls so much and I definitely don't use them enough. And I feel like this just kind of pulled the look together and it kind of matched with like the cat eye effect a little bit. So yeah, really happy I found these um, in like my little De de nail decoration drawer and I'm just applying these and I love these a lot because they are flat back and I am applying these just on the top coat I didn't use like any like rhinestone glue but if you're doing these nails to last or applying any germs or any crystals you want to use your rhinestone glue also excuse like the gel polish that I got on my thumb and the little cut I have on my thumb um, I didn't notice that during the video, but I'm noticing it now. So yeah, sorry about that. Just ignore it. Um, yeah, I feel like these pearls gave such a nice touch and pearls are kind of like in this season. So yeah, I am I really love how these look. Let me know what you guys think down below. And if you've made it this far into the video, I just want to say a huge thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos now i'm just applying some cuticle oil to finish off the nails and make sure to massage these in really really well and this is the finished look i'm really happy with how these nails turn out i love the pearls the most the colors they just pop and I love the cat eye effect. I feel like it's just such a nice combo. Thank you Betsy for sending me your nail products. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.